Well, howdy folks, Cold Meat 247 here, a part 15 of this Rome Total War Egyptian campaign. We're gonna start this with a big fight today, so we're gonna try to free Ensira. Um, I will not control the reinforcements. I'll let the computer do it. Alright, so we're gonna fight this on the battle map right now. Why am I not controlling the reinforcement? Well, that's a good question. I will answer, right now. That's easy. It's because I cannot control more than 20 units. Altogether, this army is like 28 units. So, if I only... If I try to control this, this and anyway right now... But victory I could courage, O oh noble soldiers. With courage, oh noble soldiers. And victory is in our grasp. That's right, start deployment. So, the thing is, about this, is like I said, I can't control more than 20 units. So there's gonna be at least maybe five, six, maybe seven un maybe five or six units, probably, that won't I won't be able to use. Uh, and I wanna make sure that they are used in the fight. Skirmisher. On one side. We'll start battle right now. It is not cool. What? Reinforcement delayed? Oh, th this. That's what I'm talking about, folks. We'll get in the line here. Just because I think it's not really well placed. So it's important that my skirmishers actually do a lot of damage. Otherwise, we're gonna have problems. My chariots were already on top of the hill, that's why I didn't move any of that. I might as well use my maybe... No, I'll move my chariots here. We'll get the skirmishers on this side. And then we're gonna start advancing. Run it. Yeah, he's doing the big swirl. No, he's just moving. Why are you sending your general in front? That is a weird move. I will go bash it right now. You're gonna get hit by my chariots. I'm passing the chariots and I'm gonna run right into this. Watch this. I don't care about my skirmishers right now. They're not gonna die, by the way. No damage caused here. It's just a mess, but that's okay. He's getting shot at. I'll remove skirmish mode. Why? It's because I intend to charge this general with my chariots. I don't want my units to run. He's gonna get shredded. We're gonna retreat. Here we go. I didn't show you, but it's a massacre. I might. I, I lost one charge or two. That's it. Turn around. Finish that. General has been killed. Now we will see the measure of his soldier's courage. Now we're gonna run to the back. This unit's getting shot by my archers right now. The rest is gonna move back. So yeah, you're gonna probably tell me the chariots are a bit OP against cavalry. But that's what it is, you don't send cavalry on chariots. You don't do that. It's not a good idea. It's a bad idea. And he did it. That's just one unit of archers, by the way. Shooting at them. And I'm gonna do same thing with this cavalry here if it doesn't run.
Charge. You better run. I'm coming. Two, three. Yeah, you gotta watch for those, by the way. He's also using his skirmishers. So we'll get into a line right in front of him. Start advancing. So are you gonna do here without a general, my friend? He's sending his units back. That's bunt. That's heavy cavalry. That's okay. You can't do anything against the bikes that I'm sending right now. Get on the side. We'll run the archers. Still moving cavalry my side. And he's sending two or three units forward at the same time. No, relax. It's not that bad. Everything is cool. I forgot to put my fatting on. I will do right now. We're gonna charge this unit. It's kind of lost on the side. And see, we're already breaking units. Time to use our skirmishers. They should have been on the other side right now. Would have been a better move. I'm not gonna lose all my chariots to this guy, by the way. I will turn around. If I have to, I'll just turn around. We got half of his army out. We'll start advancing. Let's not forget we're an attack here. I'm supposed to attack. I'm just gonna drive them off the field. Come on. Get out. You have no choice. Fight. Broken. They will run or die. We'll come back. He regroup a big part of his force. That's the unit that I, I don't want to face with my chariots. Shoes. They're attacking us. Come back here. My archers are still in range. Those guys will be hit by javelins. We'll kill a lot of them. Right now. Oh, they're running already. It's crazy. You can't do anything. Oh, you want to charge, really? What's this? We get hit by javelins. Or we'll destroy his cavalry. The rest of his army will stay where it is. That was heavy cavalry, by the way. Destroyed. That's light cav. No, that's heavy cavalry. We're just gonna destroy another unit. Finish this one. So he's not doing too good with cavalry right now. 
And we'll just advance finish his troops. What advance? Notice I'm running my skirmishers now. And the unit's finished. I'm gonna stay here on the side. I lost quite a bit of chariots. But for Wiley lost right now, it's it's good. It's good. Mm-hmm. Advancing a little bit, throwing javelins. My skirmishers will start working on the first unit. It's just bad right from the start because he lost his general. Guys, pl please don't throw your general right in front. That is a stupid idea. I'm going to turn this line and close it. We'll move. Forget about this unit, so I'm not getting charged. No, no. Come here. So they don't swamp my guys. We'll close the line. Still moving towards me, that's funny. We'll bring the archers. Bring the general also. Here we go, they're turning around. That's all broken. I'm getting my general in there. He's gonna start running. I don't care you're attacking the back, really. Is he moving? He's moving out. I lost a big part of my general unit going through pikes. So it's one thing to remember. Don't send your horses, even if they're friendly, through pikes. Going through four or five units here. Blam! I'm gonna turn around. Run back. You ain't running for the hills. It's not gonna happen. Well, it looks like he's gonna get out with a big part of his army, but we did kill the general. Kill we'll try to catch up with this unit, try to break it. So he lost his general and most of his cavalry. Hit. Turn around. Destroy them. Try it again. Just kill those guys. Very 
go work down here. So everything is gonna run, I can't really catch up with him. Not at the speed that he's going. We'll try to damage this unit as much as possible. To get this one. Charge. We're breaking them. Destroy them. I'm trying to hit the big units. Like this. Try to kill as many guys as possible. Them. This unit just got destroyed. That's it. That's the end. Everything is broke. Oh no, he's got one unit there. That is apparently not breaking. We'll wait for it. With the scare machines. bring my chariots also so big part of the game here big part of my fight done by the chariots the pike didn't actually were not in of any use really what is he gonna do run into javelins for real he will the enemy cowards run that's a new battle from the battlefield rape those guys Million javelins. They're still alive. That's surprising. Look at how many javelins is that? That's just crazy. That's 500 javelins flying at the same time. They're not gonna make it. Victory is sweet indeed, and all the sweeter for being so decisive. So I I reduce the size of his army. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I'm not happy, but uh, that's like half his army that we got. Let's go back to the campaign map and try to see where this army is going back because it's gonna move. That's excellent. Just move back this way. No, not the other way. This way. This is fine. Alright. I'll click the space bar here. Otherwise it's a bit long. Um, let's have a look at the army. I got my chariots back. So we're not going to freak out. Uh, let me see if I cannot get a bunch of troops in this one. This unit's a bit small. Is it possible to retrain any kind of units here? Yes, it is. All right, we'll take part of this army. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna Mighty bring more of the pikes. And this Sire. guy. Can I join five units? Five, yep. Mighty General. Orders? Mighty General. Not you. Sire. Onward. Are we going to defend the border? I'll put a tower there once I'm there, and then I'm gonna keep advancing. Eventually, this is all gonna go to Nicodemia, probably. The rest of the army will stay there, we have good defense at the back, we're fine. Um, I can't do anything about Pergamum. The thing is I'm trying to go a bit faster, try to defeat this, and try to get this army. That's the army that I don't like, Spartacus. He's not the strongest general as you can see, so it shouldn't be any kind of problem defeating him. We can't really see what's in his army, but it's not that big compared to the one I just, you know, defeated. It is not big at all. Um, let's not forget that Ships we have ready. troops here. So that's going to that's going to bash out this army. Set sail. Leaving the army. 
Off the boats. Orders, prepare for battle. That's right, Victory. prepare for battle, man. Attack. I'm coming. We're gonna... He's got three units. So it's not necessary to play around, really. We're gonna auto-resolve this one. Glorious Get it out the way. Out of moves, great lord. I cannot go back in the city. But the city is free right now. It's All the troops are being retrained. We're good. Construction will start again. He cannot get here in one turn. So I'll be able to get my troops back in. Retrain all of this. Wait for my other army. And if I really need it. I mean if I need it. Otherwise I'll just go right to Nicodemia. But I'm not sure. I'm not, I, I don't think I'll need that. So what I'm looking for here is the general. This guy ain't bad. He's reading really, he's not bad. So we'll be taking this guy. Ships ready. Boat included. Yes, so we'll take the boats now here. We'll take sir. archers and this guy. We're gonna move them to Pergamum. Yeah, to Pergamum, and then we're gonna move this army north. So I'm gonna have two armies working. So one here that's gonna go like this, and then the other one that's gonna take Nicodemia. And then we'll see. I might actually have this army move to the other side, or if we need to take this city, let's not forget that we're building an army here in Antioch, and it's almost good to go. Except my general, you know, ain't the best. I he's not the best, but uh, maybe we can find a better one. No, we can't. But we'll take the general that's here. Um, right now, this is all going to be retrained. I'm going to need more Nubians here. Are you good? No. I'm gonna need more Nubians here in town. So I'll recruit them in the surrounding towns. Here we go. And then we'll move some of the Nubians in Antioch. This army is also going north. Um, we have another city here that we have to finish. And it's Seleucia. Um, I don't think I'm gonna wait because it's 6th turn. And he's got nothing inside. That's not much. We could be... We can get inside right now. Engage the enemy. I think I'm gonna... Well, I'll take another turn. Just to build more sap points. And ladders. So we can move a bit faster in town and take the walls. Settle Maybe he's got a unit somewhere sir. here. Maybe he's gonna try to defend that. Who knows? Uh, but we're moving here to Seleucia and we're going to Babylon after that. Uh, do we have anything to do at the moment? We can't recruit elephants, we're broke. The 2,000 left. I'm gonna skip the turn. But this part was really... Uh, it was about the, the, the fight here against Pontus. Alright, so we, ha we got a spy in place. Oh, he's got a unit. Like I told you, he's got a unit. Attack me. No? You're not gonna attack? You, you don't wanna defend your capital? Faction announcement. New family, uh, new family member is good. Wow, this guy cannot be bribed. He's gonna, he's gonna cost an arm and a leg trying to bribe this guy. Uh, that's all temples and the council chamber, okay. So we're gonna be, um, I've boosted my temples here. I think I'm gonna keep building temples because we need to raise public order. Squalor is really high here. There's nothing else I can do. Here we go. Tier. The temples are done. Put more militia in town. We'll build a bazaar so we can make more cash. Plinus. Um, taxes are low. Uh, we're gonna need maybe another two units here. I will do the large temple to Horus so we can raise taxes eventually. Damascus, the barrack is done. How's the militia here? Get an extra two units. Blacksmith, practice range, stables. You know what? I don't need any of those buildings. 
and Sierra, we are building a road. That's fine. Where's N Sierra? I'm surprised he's still sending a force. Alright, so he didn't really move his army. We're good here. I'm gonna take this, send it to down. Do some retraining. That is pretty good. We'll let the building go right now. He can't really siege it, it's full. I don't think he will, and if he does, Sire! he's got a problem. Engage the enemy. So Victory I think I should I think I should maybe go just punish this guy here. Engage the enemy. Who are you? Just a family member, four units. He might run away, but we'll do it on the battle map so we can make sure that we remove this five star general off his list because I don't want him to use it. It was a pretty good part so far, I gotta say. This will be a grim day. All days of battle are grim. Mm -hmm. But how much worse must the day be for our foes? They face us, the finest soldiers in the world! Well, that needs to be proved, but... Um Let's start this right now. He's probably gonna run. So wh here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna get my chariots on the side. Make sure we can run. And my general on the other. And we'll try to squish him. Where are you? Run it. I'm coming. So remember the goal here is try to get his general. That's it. That's why I'm setting the chariots really quick. I think there's another thing too. I think it's really important when you do when okay, the thing is it's not always important to wipe out the whole army. It's really all about accomplishing your goal here. And my goal is to get the general. That's my goal. If I accomplish that, I don't care about the rest, really. Get on the side. Oh, my general's gonna run. And I'm gonna smash my chariots right in this general. I don't care if he's sending this unit, it doesn't matter. It's not fast enough to catch me. I'm coming. Stand and fight. Fight. Charge. You can send 20 units of cavalry if you want. I'll kill them all. Run. Run. Don't fight this unit. Turn around. We lost a bunch, but that's fine. Oh, really? Get my general out of there. Save my general. I'm 
we're gonna run away. So we just bashed a five-star general. Now just get a bunch of units in place. I totally forgot my archers. Come on. And my skirmishers, because they were not useful. I'll move them just in case. We broke one unit. Send the chariots in. That's right, gets new battle, wipe them out. From the battle in That's the reason why I like chariots. I told you many times in many battles. Wiping out units with chariots is very easy. Stay here. Come on. Bash the other one. He doesn't have any enough men left to be considered an army right now. And what's funny is he t he's turning around. My chariots are a bit tired. Like he said, men remaining zero. We'll go back to the campaign map. Victory is ours, mighty one. Sire, that'd be right. The enemy. Victory is ours, mighty one. Oh, I forgot to build my watchtower, but well, that's that's fine. We know where we're going. We have a spy here. Put it in the middle, so I'm not missing anything. Excellent. So we'll take a break here on part 15, guys. Don't forget to join me for part 16 coming up really, really soon. And if you want this next part to come out tomorrow, click the like button. 100 like will give you the next part right away. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget your comments also. Have a good one.